Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I thought in today's video I will share three different bracelet designs with you using the charms that I recently purchased from this year's winter collection. So I was designing playing with them the other night and I have it inside this new jewelry box that Pandora came out with this winter and this first bracelet design is right here. So it is on the smooth bracelet so there's no clip stations on here and it does allow the charms to have all that movement. And although I do have a silicone clip at the end. We'll start on the very end here. And right here you have the puppy charm with the little hat and that little toque looks so cute on him. And the puppy is sitting and as you can see, it has like a totally happy look like it's about to go for a walk. You've got the little tail detail on the back, the little paws and there is the hallmark. My only wish with this little puppy is that I've had it for quite a while and those eyes just aren't oxidizing for me quite dark enough. So from a distance, like you can kind of tell it's a puppy, but it's just lacking a little bit of detail. So I really wish that Pandora would do more enamel uh, for the eyes. I just think that little extra detail stands out. This is the snowflake charm. It's long retired. It's a chunky charm. Can you see the width on this one? And you've got the CZs on both sides and it looks identical on both sides. And this charm here are the ice skates and Pandora retired these as well. I have a pair of them because I think it looks so cute on a bracelet seeing them together in movement. And I think Pandora recreated the snowflakes on the bale of this charm because if you take a look here at the catalog, the snowflake snow globe dangle, it also has a snowflake design. So it's really nice that Pandora is coming out with some different bales. And now we come to the new charm. So five in a row, all of the new charms are together. As you can see, the little gingerbread house is a flipper. Um, but when you're wearing the bracelet, and I'll show you that in a bit, it doesn't flip so much. So you've got the green lollipop and it really is a nice green. It stands out really well. And then I'm kind of wondering why they didn't do the little um, candy cane there with enamel, but maybe it would take away from the roof design. And then on the back of the charm, you just have a little bit of a winter scene. So you've got the tree and then you've got some little hard candies and wrappers there. Such a cute charm. And I think the color of this enamel is perfect. It's the perfect shade. It just kind of blends with anything and it makes this charm so versatile. And then next to it, I have the Pandora Rose Snowflake. And this one I was not expecting to purchase, but it just won me over with how delicate it looks. And look how the cutouts match like on both sides of the charm. So it just has a really light airy look about it. This here is the new dangle. Um, this one is called the Sparkling Snowflake Double Dangle. And one thing I did forget to show you last time when I was showing this charm is the reverse of it. So take a look how they have the little snowflakes in a pattern going around. Like it's perfect, I think. If they're not gonna do CZs at the back, it's really nice that they just didn't leave it clear and smooth silver. And then we come to the Murano. So this is the new Murano that came out. There's a little bit of variation, but they all have like a really neat watery effect to it or like frozen ice. Pandora did such a good job with this. So it's called the Winter Blue Snowflake Murano. The best part is the side detail. You've got the snowflakes in silver. And then the one that I chose is a little bit brighter with a little bit more sparkle, but some of them didn't have a lot of sparkle and had more of that watery look, but they're all so pretty. This here was another one that was a must have for me because I love the effect of the little snowflakes underneath. Each of these dangling snowflakes are unique. And I think it's that little extra attention to detail that Pandora is known for. So look at this beautiful snowflake. You can see how it compares to the rose gold one. So even again, Pandora didn't copy exactly the two snowflake designs. And that shade of CZ in the center of this one is really nice to go with the new Murano. Um, I'm kind of wondering at the end of that snowflake if that looks like little hearts, but I don't think so. No, 
I'm wondering if they did sneak in a little heart here somewhere. And then the back of this charm, again, you have that CZ in the center, but the little snowflakes just have those little raised dots rather than having CZs, but it really still stands out nice. This next charm is a Black Friday charm, I believe, from 2013. You can see the year stamp there on the side, and it's the snowflake in CZ that goes all the way around. I did pull this off of a different design, and I thought it would look really nice with this bracelet here. Um, then this charm here with the little mittens. So the mittens have a little blushy pinkish red heart on both of them. And the best part is, is how they just move around because it's just a chain through a loop and such a great detailed charm. And I thought having a pair of mittens like that looked really nice with the pair of ice skates on the other side. And then we have a radiant heart. Um, this one I believe is just the blue radiant heart and you've got the cutout hearts. You can see a little bit of the cutout hearts in the middle and it's a really nice shade of blue. But do you know which charm would look really nice with this new Murano? And Pandora retired it last winter, but I think it's one of the Disney charms. It's the frozen charm. I just wanted to actually grab an old catalog here to show you the charm that I mean. And it's this one here, the Frozen Winter Crystal. I think that color CZ would look so pretty with the new Murano. Now that I'm looking at this catalog, I'm wondering about Elsa's signature Murano. Let's take a look and see. I have that one in my collection. Let's see how that color looks next to the new Murano. And now comparing them side by side, I can see that Elsa's Murano is a really good match for the new Winter Murano, the Winter Snowflake one Pandora came out with. So if you have these in your collection, the new Murano is going to tie right in because I think that is a really good match. So coming back to the bracelet, at the very end I have the pinecone charm. This one has that little red ribbon on top and that oxidized detail. Such a wonderful charm. Pandora created this pinecone perfectly. No CZs involved at all, just that red enamel. And then look at all that textured detail. Like it's, without a mistake, a pinecone. So this is the first design that I came up with and I kind of liked having a little bit of red on here because I've got the red with the hat, the pine cone, and also on the gingerbread house. I only have one Pandora rose charm on here and I'm okay with that. I think it still looks really pretty. So let me try this bracelet on for you quickly. This is how the bracelet looks. And if I just go in a little bit closer, do you see what I mean about the gingerbread house not being such a flipper once it's on your wrist? It just kind of that flat part tends to sit right against your skin. And then the little dangles, it's just a really comfortable bracelet to wear. So this is the first design. And while I'm putting together the second design, I wanted to show you the charm rods that Pandora has in this new jewelry box. Do you see how it has the silicone inside of the end here? So it doesn't screw on like other charm rods. You just kind of push it into place. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I've never seen um, charm rods like that before where it's just a little silicone stopper at the end and then yeah, I'm wondering if that's going to wear down with time. The next design I want to share is on the multi-snake chain bracelet. So here is the bracelet here. So I've added some silicone line clips at either end. And then you've got all of the new charms. So again, the gingerbread with the snowflakes. And at the very end here, I thought I would balance out that rose gold snowflake with another rose gold charm. This one is retired. So let me put this bracelet on for you so you can see what it looks like. So with the multi-strand bracelet, I don't tend to fill it up with charms. I do kind of keep the design more into the front and not have the charms rotate towards the back of the wrist. But you can see with this gingerbread charm, how it again is sitting like this against your skin, basically. It doesn't flip around like it does on a charm rod. So this is the second bracelet design. And I really like it. I like um, just having a balance on the rose gold over here. It's kind of like a nondescript charm, but for now it works. 
I have to apologize for the background noise. I live across the street from a park and they're mowing today. So my apologies, but this is my time to record. So we'll go back to the third bracelet design here. I'm using this bracelet here, the Pandora Moments Heart Closure. It's a bracelet that I recently received in the free bracelet promo. And this is the mini design that I came up with. So as you can see on one end, I've got the snowflakes here. This part here goes underneath your wrist and I'll try this bracelet on for you in a moment, but I came back to this radiant heart charm to go at the bottom. And then I have the new snowflake, the gingerbread house, and then I put a silicone line clip. This is one of the grains clip that Pandora came out with a while ago. So let me put this bracelet on so you can see what it looks like. And here is this design. So as you can see, it's a little bit looser. Um, I do prefer a looser bracelet. So underneath I've got the radiant hearts and then I've got the snowflake. Again, the little gingerbread wants to stay put like that. This isn't my first choice of clip. Um, I do have another clip in mind, but I'm waiting for a sale or Black Friday. And then on this side of the bracelet is where I've got the other new charms. So I've got the little snowflake, um, Rano and Dangle and in rose gold. So again, this is the third bracelet design, but I don't think this one is my favorite unless maybe I do add a few more charms to it. So maybe I'll try that right now. I'll add these charms that I took off of the first design and see if that makes a difference. And I think it did make a difference adding more charms so that all the charms weren't swooping to the bottom of the wrist here. So I think, uh, I think this is an improvement. I did add two more charms on this side and I changed the clip that was used and added one more charm right here. So I think it is a little bit better. Still, I don't think it's quite my favorite design. One thing to note about this bracelet design is it does take some practice and some patience at first to get used to doing up the clasp because the clasp is a toggle. Do you see right here? It just kind of like you push inwards and then you have to thread it through the loop. So this one does take some practice. If, um, if you get frustrated easily, I don't recommend this bracelet, but it is really cute on and but for some reason, I don't think this is my favorite design. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and please leave me a comment below and let me know which of these designs were your favorite. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.